Don't know everything about COVID-19. We are learning more each day about how it spreads and certain things make the virus spread much faster. Tonight, Channel 2 health reporter Haley Hernandez takes a closer look at what the experts are calling super spread events and how you can avoid them. and worshiping. That's what the Fountain of Praise Church in Southwest Houston is all about. We are very high worship. We are actually known around the city for having some of the best singers and some of the best music. Now listen, I'm a big witness here. I'm the storm and the rain, but the blood still stays the same. Coronavirus has kind of changed that, though, taking what was on stage to the screen. When we have these opportunities on the digital platforms for people to be able to connect at any time of the day, no matter where they are in the world. We do everything we can to make sure that everybody's safe. Could it look any more innocent? A church choir lost. But doctors say this is what they're calling super spreader. When we sing, we know that their uh, aspirations, their, their droplets that can come out in the voices are into the air. And with COVID-19, of course, the concern is that we want to make sure that people are safe, that they are not infecting others, that they're not putting others at risk. We know that when you project, when you sing, when you do certain kinds of activities, you have more uh, potential for spraying droplets out. A newly released CDC report looks into a Washington state choir practice that turned into a virus super spread event. 52 people contracted the virus, two people died. The findings, the virus spread rapidly because choir members were projecting their voice and breathing in, along with droplets projected to high touch surfaces, leading to a discovery that some some situations are more dangerous in spreading the virus. In Japan, 80 cases were tied to a live music venue, more than 100 from a South Korean nightclub, and COVID clusters have happened at nursing homes, prisons, and meatpacking plants. Why these places? They're in close quarters. You can't necessarily shield them from others. <laughs> Cheering and shouting at a sporting event is also a high risk for a super spread. That's potentially a challenge because now you've got people that are in close proximity emitting sound that also uh, potentially can emit or transmit virus. But he says being outdoors, walking, even swimming are considered safer. Even restaurants, if they clearly take precautions to social distance inside, they're okay to visit. The Fountain of Praise says they're in a unique position since the virus disproportionately affects African Americans, the majority of their congregation. So they won't take any risks with the health of their members until they know how services can be among the safe places to be. As challenging as it's been to be away from their congregation, Pastor Wright says the message stays the same. As a church, it's not this building, even though we love this building, it's the building of people's lives together, connected. That to us is what's most important. I don't know about you, but you can't take this line down. Haley Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.